when you watch the Demolition Derby, you're watching for two things in terms of rules, because we don't need any more than two sneaking rules. No driver's side door hits. No driver's side door hits. And once your vehicle stops, you have two minutes to get it moving again. Once your vehicle stops, you get two minutes to get that bad boy moving again. In heat number one tonight, in the 4221, Mike Foley from New Philadelphia. In the 629, Sean Crabbin from Zanaden. In the 19 New Phillies, Danny Parker in the triple zero, Daniel Heron from Port Washington. In the 07, Tim Bolton, Chad Edwards. In the 91, Jeremy King from Port. In the 116, Trump for Jason. In the 719, Tim Burkhart from Delvoy. In the 23, Lee Ford from the Cummings Town. In the 22, Strasburg, Zach Pringle. In the 24, Zach Summer from Lingsburg. In the Ken Dover, Scott Miner. In the 392, Buddy English from Port Washington. In the 1221, Brandon Burley from Dover. In the 22, Ben and Bulver from Tusky. In the 0 2, Dover's Carl Gerber. In the 3 1, Anthony Lorello from the Pink City. In the 11, J.R. Thomas Mancini from Zurich. And the 4 4 4 F. Caldwell and Andrew Anderson. In the number 11, Corey Hill from Sheridan. And in the 67, you are so hot to win the best. Thank you all, Scotty, there, boys. Thank you for coming out tonight. It's going to be a fantastic night of action. We may have to use a few horns with Ed and a leg 21 cars in for heat number one tonight. I think this is like an unofficial Thank you all, Scotty, there. Record for cars in a single heat. We are checking the record book with our orders to the trash tower. I know that may be hard to believe, but it's true. Number one tonight, brought to you by Davey Byrider, Western Street in Dover. All 21 of these bad boys lined up, ready to go. Can you see that derby ring? Packed with water, smart, and oh my, who knows what else. They're waiting for the green lights to fly as we get this Davey Byrider. He's number one in action. Up on the north side of the derby ring, farthest away from you, a lot of water and a lot of mud up there. So more than likely, folks getting stuck in the muck, the mud, the fire. And when that happens, sometimes you're sitting duck in the mud and the muck. Already a number of cars with their engines not functioning properly. Trying to get those bad boys restarted. Bumpers laying out there, pieces and parts. Have a number of different vehicles. But the 
vast majority of those 21 bad boys and girls still out there ringing them up and rolling around. The only time in all our heats tonight you will see a stoppers in the middle of the heat would be if there are planes coming from one of the vehicles. Oh, 
Jason Jason Also in the 07 over in the far corner to your right hand side. Once we get it narrowed down to a few more, then the question becomes how you're going to maneuver around the ones that are still left out in the middle. Maybe by rider, he's number one, or rocking and rolling the puck along Patty Fair Ground tonight. Also in motion in the triple zero. Ford Washington, Daniel Heron. So we got Heron in the triple zero in the 91 car. Jeremy King from Ford Washington in the 719. We're rocking and rolling right now in the race. That's Quinn Burkhardt from Delroy. The 12 the 21 car over on the south here we go down in reverse going searching out in the middle of that dirty ring right now silver brandon Curley, john travel from the navy in the 69 usually it's danny parker in the 19 So from the original number of two one and number one. And he works our way down into single digits. Once again, if you're just flipping into the grandstand, to watch all this demo dirty action tonight, the only thing you're watching for in terms of rules. No driver's side door hit. No driver's side door hit. And once your vehicle stops, you have two minutes to get you started or you are eliminated. Again, once your vehicle stops, you have two minutes to get that bad boy restarted or you are eliminated. Most of the folks up on the north side of the ring right now. In the 91 car, Jeremy King from Port Washington. In the 719, Delroy, Tim Burkhardt. In the 24 car, Matt Zimmer from Waynesburg. Jason D. Loretto in the day one. Usually, Danny Parker in the 19. John Gladys from today in the 69. And in that 07 car, Tim Bolton, Dad. In the 02 car, Carl Gerber Silver, bumping up one of those silly boys, Danny Barnett. Right now, side by side, Mr. Preserver. And that's 719. Good. The inside very easy to get in The 24 car right in the middle of the derby ring, red with the blue and yellow paint on it. That's good. Max Zimmer. Flying and mud and mud going everywhere. 
all the action tonight. So provided for you on a TV series. Look for the Midwood Racing Radio Retro Derby along the fence line between where you're at with the grandstand and the track. Let's sign up when you order it tonight. A two-angle video racing all year from New Year's and Fox. Whatever don't get close to newer than that. that we still got six in the moon. In the 1241 car. That's Dover's Brandon Curley in the 1241 Dover's Brandon Curley. In the 91 car, Fort Washington, Jeremy King. In the 719, Delroy Tim burst out and all that steam you see flying rolling out of that 1241 car. Also in the 02, Dover, Ty Dover. This is only the first week tonight. You didn't want to go home early from the Buster Ross County Fair. It doesn't matter that you got to get up and go to work in the morning, my friend. You got to get up and go to school. You don't need no sleep. It's the Buster Ross County Fair Board Gentlemen's and Derby. In the 1221, one more time for you, Dover Brandon Curley, if you're a Brandon fan, give it up. In the 719 from Al Delroy Way, Tim Burkhart. In the 91, that white car with the green numbering and lettering, that's Jeremy King from Fort Washington. In the 19, New Phillies, Danny Parker. And Dover, Carl Gerber in the 0 2. The 719, the 91, the 19, the 02, and the 10. So we are down to what appears to be six stars. Got them up six. We started with 21. Couple of those tricks on the clock. Once it gets thrown out, you got another two minutes to get moving again. The number one's been a dandy and it's still going on. Brought to you by JD by Rider and Dover. Carl Gerber in the 0 2 locked up with that 719 car. Tim Burkhart from Delroy. Carl front bumper and Timmy's back. Now they separate. Off over 1221 and he's having trouble doing much of anything. 
Up in the northwest corner of the Derby ring, that'd be up high as your left as you sit in the grandstand. Danny Barker in the 19, Jeremy King from Ford in the 91. Jeremy King trying to get his bad boy moving again. See all that steam flying right in the middle of the Derby ring and pouring out of Jeremy's garden. Big old trophies await the winners of each of our heats tonight. Got remaining 719 trying to get it restarted up on the top derby wall in that 719er. That's the car been driven dandily in this heat number one tonight. Also, Danny Parker from New Philly in the 19. And in the 1221, Brandon Curley from Dover. And that's Tim Burkhart from Delroy trying to get it restarted before he's timed out in the 719. So from the number two one that we got started with in this JD Byrider, he's number one tonight. We're down to two still moving, one on the clock. JD Byrider, West Third and Dover. Our premier sponsor, Tony and the great folks there, great supporters of the Demolition Derby at the Nuskaroff County Fair, as are you. This is just the first of 95 cars of action tonight. And when we're down to two, what you're looking for is the car that has the last hit. So it's the 1221 car. That's Dover's Brandon Curley. And in the 19, Danny Barker from New Philly. Well, maybe out the way it should be a Philly boy and a Dover boy battling it out for number one. The 1241. Brandon trying to get that bad boy moving again. Now he does. In the 19, Danny Barker. Make sure all our drivers for heat number two, if you're a driver in heat number two, you need to be at your vehicle because once we get the Derby ring cleared out from this extended heat number one tonight, we'll get heat number two started.
so results in heat number one tonight. Finishing in fourth place, driving the zero two star, Gerber's Carl Gerber. Finishing in third, driving the 719 from Delroy, Tim Burkhardt. Grabbing the number two spot in the 1221 from Dover, Brandon Curley. And taking the number one spot in our J.D. Byrider. Who's number one tonight in the 19 car from New Philadelphia, Danny Parker. Flying tire, heat number two. In the 29, New Philadelphia's Jason Householder. In the 878, Corey Pringle from Strasburg. In the 69, Tyler Boycott from Yorkville. In the 54, Bolivar Kuzma. In the 27, Nicholas Rotruck from Newcomerstown. In the 63, Doug Cross from New Philadelphia. And the double zero three, Denison versus Snively. In the 75, X, Kevin Renneker from Dover. In the 85 car, Erica Cook from Port Washington. In the 67, Joseph Huntsinger from Pimica New. In the 31, FD, Chad Miller from Zaneville. In the 44, New Philadelphia, Susan Jones. In the three, in the eight, in the Harrison from Dover. In the 14, Gibson and Kevin, New Philadelphia. In the 141, Randy Wallace from New Philly. In the 36, Mike Brewer. And in the 41, side, out of Thunderdale, James Gibson. 17 cars tonight, and our Brian Fire group number two. Our 2009 Cutthroat County Fair, Demolition Derby. And our overall sponsor tonight, J.D. Firewriter and Dover. Just a reminder one more time, Darren Stokup. Darren Stokup, if you've not already gone through. Please report to the sheriff's office on the third round, just the way the grandstand. And drivers for heat number three, drivers in heat number three, head for your vehicle. Drivers in heat number three, you're about to lay eyes on the Bryant Sire, heat number two tonight at the Duster Off Saturday Fairground.
from Bobber in the 5 4. Send them out a little bit quicker in heat number two than we did in heat number one. Of the seven teams that started, trying to finish in the top four. Nice job by Tyler Boyd, now that 69. Slamming that thing in reverse and going to ram it into the 63 car. It's a strong speed to it. A lot of steam rolling out from under. Doug Kirk. Doug in the 63, also. Still cruising around in that 141. Car. Still moving around in the derby ring. Bootsville is Keegan Jones. Well, we got some flames somewhere, so we're going to stop it and put a red light to the proceedings just only for a moment to get high on the road. In the 44 car, Keegan Jones from New Philadelphia. Meanwhile, in the 141, Randy Wallach, also from the New Philly area. In the 69, that's your Bill Tyler Boycott. The 29 car that's being driven tonight. I knew Philadelphia Jason Householder. Again, we're going to have the red light stop activities in the derby room. Back to action. In the 141 car, Randy Wallace from New Philadelphia. In the 404, Keegan Jones, also from the New Philly area. In the 29 car, New Philadelphia, Dixon Householder. Brian Cross, excuse me, Doug Cross from New Philly in the 63. Nicholas Road Truck from Newcomers Town. Brian Steyer, heat number two. You see four of them right over on the south derby wall in front of your eyes. The 27 car being driven by Nicholas Road Truck from Newcomers Town. 
in that one four one that right to the yellow pad randy wallace from new philly and slamming her in reverse in the four four keegan jones crashing into road truck 27 meanwhile in the 29 car it's Jason Householder from New Philadelphia and trying to get started up again in the 63 New Philly Doug Brock. Five battling for four. Five battling for four. It's the 141 to 44, the 29 to 27, and the 63. The Brian Steyer, heat number two, as quiet as you'll hear it in the middle of a heat. In the 29 car, you're looking at driving that bad boy and doing a nice job, Jason Householder from New Philly in the 141. And Ren Dewalek also out of the New Philly area in the 44 car. Backed up and locked up with the 29 right now, Keegan Jones from New Philly. of three right now three battling for the championship in our brian tire heat number one you see the 141 car putting her in reverse and hitting into the back side of the 44 driven by keegan jones and trying to get that 29 restarted to jump back into the midst of the activity in the 29 new philadelphia's jason householder 44 141 and 29 and jason got to go a little bit now Jason probably going to seek that bad boy if possible in reverse and go looking to hit somebody. So three battling for that top spot. And that's the 44 car. Keegan Jones hits Randy Wallace 141. Randy backs up a little bit. Well now. Hit into the back side of that 4-4, four four, driven by Keegan. Randa Wallach taking it to the 44 again. Sneaking up on the north side of the Derby ring, coming in the back door in the 29, Jason Householder. And you see Jason bump into the back of the 141. Now right now Randy Wallach trying to get that 141 started up again. Now he's got to do that in order to be number one of the 141. So we are now down to two, down to two. Jason Householder in the 29 and Randy Wallach in the 141 and Randy don't look real happy right now sitting in the 141 trying to get it restarted and Jason gives Randy another shot. Randy gonna try that old mechanics thing of kicking the steering wheel as hard as he can to see if it'll restart. Brian Tyre bringing the heat number two tonight.
Watson, heat number two. Drivers at the camp, stay with your cars until the folks from Lanza come out and move those bad boys for you. Simply help the folks to get the cars to where you want them to be in the quickest manner. Here are your official results. Brian's tire, heat number two at the Duster Off County Fair tonight. Finishing in fourth place, driving the 27 car from Newcomers Town, Nicholas Rotra. Finishing in the number three spot in the 44 from the New Philly area, Keegan Jones. Finishing second in the 141, Randy Wallach from New Philadelphia. And taking home the Brian Tire Championship Trophy. And a little bit of cash as well in the number 29 car, Jason Householder. from Dover, Bobby Nelson. In the 79, New Philly's Eric Brokaw. In the 25 stars, John Chuck from New Philly. In the 747, Todd Chuck from New Philly. In the 45, Guy Stoll. In the 69, Somerdale's Mike Rainsburg. In the 114 from the Twin Cities, John Baker. In the 84 from Baltic, Cody Cliff. In the 730, David Baker from Uricksville. In the 22 car, Steve Schuff from Canadian. In the 20, Tim Wilhelm from Grafton. In the 40, Brian Wilhelm from Grafton. Those boys love a derby driving down from Grafton. In the 14, New Philly, Jeff Bear. In the 72, James Ross from Dover. In the 22, 62, for Philly Brown. And in the 70, from Denison, Vince Abel. The coach of on direct excavating and landscaping. Heat number three tonight, 16 cars. The cars are in the ring, wait for the green flag and the green light to drop on this Lanza Excavating and Landscaping. Third heat, 16, battling for the top four spots.
Number three is brought to you by Lancer at two many in landscaping. Sixteen cars battling for our top four spot. out of the derby ring. He's number three of eight. In the 730, David Baker from Europeville. He's going to get into the backside right now. It's the Bobby Nelson from Dover, the 45. Meanwhile, in the 84 from the village of Mullet, might be a good night to break into houses down in Mullet there was a Baltic police cruiser and we got planes right in the middle of the line to the cover three. We got 30 threads from Baltic in that 84. It's the 45, Dover's Bobby Nelson in the 730 car. That's David Baker from Europeville in the 22. Just from today.
Look again. Moves to the middle for the top four spots. from Denison in the 70 car. Up from Denaden, run right over a bumper. And then Steve and Bobby Nelson put the sandwich job on David Baker from Uricksville in the 730. It's Cody Trent in the 84, right in the midst of it as well. In the 70 car, Vince Abel from Denison, and in the 79. Usually there at Growth Car, the 79, that's the blue car. With the white, white flame, painted on the hood, all six of those guys wearing off, trying to be among the top four tonight. Under excavating and landscaping, who's number three? All drivers for Heat 4, all of our drivers for Heat 4, if you're not already at your vehicle, please saunter on over there and be ready to go. Drivers for Heat 4, right now you're watching the laundry excavating and landscaping Heat number 3, the 2009 Duxerall County Fair. We had and we're thankful to have the fair board was 95 drivers signed up and ready to go tonight. Bobby Nelson of Dover in the 45. That's the all-white car with the white letters and numbers. Cody Krebs and what looks to be the Village of Baltus Police Cruiser in the 84. In the 22, Jump from Zidane, Eric Brokaw from Philly in the 79. Vince Abel from Denison in the 70s. Those are our five remaining in the seat number three tonight. So right now, four of our five are locked up there on the top north side of the Derby ring. Bobby Nelson in the 45. Vince Abel in the 70. Eric Broke on the 79. Up in the 22 and Cody Kraft trying to, he's moving but he can't get away. Reminds of one of those cars that Roscoe used to drive and he was chasing one of the Duke boys. Steve Shuts in the 22. That's the yellow and black car. Steve right in the middle of all that mess going on out there in the derby ring, right beside Bobby Nelson in the 45. Bobby Star, the all white with the blue letters and numbers. Eric Brokaw from Philly in the 79. That's the all blue with the white flame painted across the front stand. Vince Abel from Denison in the 70 car. Those are our four remaining in this one. excavating a landscaping heat number three. And Sierra yes. broke off playing that bad boy in reverse and goes right into the car of Vince Abel. Right now, Bobby Nelson and Steve Jeff both got it in reverse and beating about right smack dab in the middle of that derby ring. So it's broke on the 79. Vince Abel from Denison in the 70s. 
Bobby Nelson in the 45, and Steve Steps in the 2-2. Three of the four right backside to backside among one another up on the top side of the Derby ring. They all separate now. Eric Brokaw got it in reverse, and now Eric going to slam it into drive and go look for somebody. Might find Steve Jeff. So Bobby Nelson in that 45, broke on the 79, Steve Jeff in the 2-2. Two -two. Up on the top side of the Derby ring, and putting her in drive and going looking for all three, or one of those three, Vince Abel from Denison in the 70s. Determine who the top four are going to be. The only question is now what order are those four going to finish in? You see Steve Jump for that bad boy in reverse, bouncing into the 79. Eric broke off. Eric trying to get his car restarted. Right by Eric started the 70 of Vince Abel from Denison. Bobby Nelson right now trying to. Get it restarted right over by the entrance to the Derby ring. So really, Steve Shep in that 2-2, two -two, the only one, has got her moving, and he's got her moving in reverse now. Slams into Bobby Nelson in there. And Mr. Shep trying to drive Mr. Nelson up on out the Derby ring. Milan's are excavating and landscaping heat number three. About this far from coming to a close. Steve Jeff's gonna slam her in reverse one more time. Pop it into the back driver's side of Bobby Nelson's four or five. There's a little love tap. The two, two, and the four, five. Sir Lanza excavating and landscaping week number three tonight. We'll give you our official results coming up in a moment. And landscaping week number three. Finishing in fourth place, driving the 70 car out of the Twin Cities, Vince. Able! Tennessee in third in the 79, Eric Brokaw. Tennessee in second place, driving the 4-5, Bobby Nelson! And breaking home, the Lons are excavating and landscaping heat number three championship trophy for finishing first in heat number three tonight in the 22 car from Dunedin, Steve Shuff. Four tier vehicles, time now for the JD Byrider. Heat number four, as you can see, truck heat tonight. In the 63, Harold Westpaper from Fort Washington. 
In the 66, Gilbert Brandon Wilker. In the 76, Nick Potter. In the 8 truck, Donnie Cohen. In the 32, Jeff Tree Nesbitt from Wingsburg. In the 10 Y are Strasburg, Charles Porter. And in the 77, coming into the ring, the pride of Dundee, Ron Philibong. He may look like Santa Claus, but that's Ron Philibong in the 77. And the green flag flies, and the green light drops in a rear there goes.
over on the South Derby wall, the wall here is two in the grandstands tonight. Nimbus in the 32, Welker in the 66, thinking about meeting in the middle of that derby ring. They both got it in reverse, smashed into one another, backside to backside. Meanwhile, it's the 63 Harold Hunting for the same one on his child's quarter, trying to get her restarted down near the bottom side derby wall. So 3 2 and 66 here with those. Ocean Ben Moses. And West Bay for the 63 and quarter of the 10 YR trying to get a restarted as well. Another one day stop moving. They got two minutes to get a restarted before they get a fast five. As any of our derby cars, the front door fans, you can see them on the All drivers for heat number five. All drivers for number five. Not already done so. Please report to your vehicle. And we're going to have to go to the 16th entry. And go to the 32nd entry. And we're going to have to go to the 32nd entry. And we're going to have to go to the 32nd entry. Nesbitt in the 32, and Welker in the 66. We saw Charles Porter get her restarted, and now it's going to be stopped again. So, reason back in the three side of that three minute time limit. Now, Brandon Walker's got his third step. Over the northwest corner of our Derby ring and puts it in reverse, goes so looking for Death Tree, makes it in an AC. Now it's Dave Tree, Nesbitt, and Brandon Welker going at it. Welker in that green 66, Nesbitt in the blue 32. One thing for sure, you're not going to have trouble seeing either one of them out there. The final two. Try to take on that JV Fire Rider truck. He's number four, championship trophy tonight. Nesbitt got the American flag flying high off his blue 32, trying to get that bad boy restarted. Brandon Walker gives him a little tap there on the front driver, the front passenger side. Puts it and drives it in reverse and another tap. Tom Wayne first trying to get it restarted in the 32 and Brandon Walker gonna put it in the roof so I'm looking for him again in a nice shot. So Brandon, step one, put it in drive. Step two, stop. Step three, put it in reverse. Step four, go looking for the back of Death Street's truck again. And 
I guess this is a great effort, but waves off tonight, and that brings our J.D. Byrider. Truck heat number four to a close tonight. A packed grandstand here at the Tuscarawas County Fair. And Brandon Wicks, our winner tonight. Official results in the J.D. Byrider. Truck heat number four. Finishing in fourth place in the 63 from Port Harold Westhaper. Finishing in third place from the home of the Tigers in the 10 YR, Charles Porter. A great run tonight, finishing in second place in the 32 truck from Waynesburg, Destry Nesbitt. And taking home our J.D. Byrider Championship and our truck heat number four, in the 66, Dover's Brendan Walker. In the number one, Jack Jackson from New Philadelphia. In the 132, Jerry Manfield. In the 2-2, two -two, Nick Sabo. In the triple six, Rick Cutshaw from Sherrisville. In the 56, in the 57, George Corman from Newcomers Town. And the 33 and one half, Deep Shanks from New Philly. In the eight, Michael Cottrell from New Philadelphia. From Sherrodville in the four, one you see him with the light atop his van. That's Tim Frederick. In the 130, Michael Pabunka Jr. from Tippecanoe. In the 29, Dover's Raymond Porter, and in the Y4, from the beautiful burg of Middleville City, Gary Snyder. This is your veteran daughter, Concrete, boot number five, tonight our van East. Got our 11 bands in the ring and the green flag flies and the white flag. And away they go. We got people with sirens on the back of their cars, stuffed animals, a big ball over these things tonight. Cars flying all over the place. This is what you found to see some craziness at the Dr. Ross County Bay Demolition Derby. Tonight, you get your van flying around the dirty ring. I believe the unofficial count is three vans with stuffed animals affixed to them. Which the a family vehicle. And this, of course, a family event. Of course, one of the stuffed animals is holding icy cold cans of a favorite adult beverage. I don't know how family-oriented that is. In the Y4, Gary Snyder from Minnesota City. Gary right now locked up with the 41 van. Tim Frederick, Strasburg, Strasburg. They separate and go in the reverse and get away from one another. Meanwhile, Frederick has to stop and take the shot from the 57. 
That's for Holman from the Summerstown. The 22, Nick Sabo with the Philly King flying into the Derby Wall over here on the east side and sparks flying all around Nick Van. Nick trying to get that bad boy started up again a right behind him. The spin Frederick in the 41. Painted in that lovely baby blue. Meanwhile, up on the north side of the Derby Ring, the 33 and a half. That's the start from the Philly. So Van smashed into one another all over the place. One stepped on the wall. Over to the southeast corner of the ring, that be on the lower side of the derby ring to your right. Well, it's pretty obvious, it's a man stuck on a cement wall. Well, it's all the so one thirty, that's Michael Pocunca, Jr. from Tippecanoe. In the eighth man, Michael Costrell from New Philadelphia. Michael, one of those with the stuffed animal. I don't know if you like that dog. I'd want an antenna plate for that antenna in place. Somebody call the ASPCA. In the 66. Up One of the things you like about these bigger and higher profile vehicles, you have no problem seeing who hit who and who hit who where. The runner and daughter Godfrey Van is number five tonight in our KD Fire Rider Demolition Derby. Number one, Jack Jackson, New Philadelphia. Jack right in the middle of the derby ring. In the 130 from Tipper to New Michael Pofunka. And George Foreman from the cover down in the 57. And that's Rick Hutzdahl from Jarrettville in the Wagon O' Death for 666. Two of our three stuffed animal vehicles still rocking and rolling in the derby ring. Maybe that's the key to success. You put a stuffed animal on your vehicle and you continue to go. Drivers are superstitious, you know that, don't you? If they take the stuffed animal on your car, your van, your truck to win, everybody will put one on there. Renner and Dutter Concrete, a sponsor of our East 
Number five tonight, the band. Wondering in the wagon o death in the 666. Yes, that is a skeleton hanging in the back of the wagon o death. I don't know that you classify a skeleton as a stuffed animal, but everybody's got some kind of a mascot that's still alive. Hutchall with the skeleton in the 666. In the eighth, it's Michael Cottrell with Duke Philadelphia trying to get his reach. And in the 57, George Foreman, a newcomer's town. George Kitty, touched off the 66. Now they're sort of tied up as George pulling the percussion all along right through the middle of the derby ring. And trying ever so desperately in the eighth to get it restarted is Michael Gattrell. Well, Cutshaw and Foreman separate now. Attention drivers, attention drivers in group number six. If you're not out of your vehicle, please report there. Drivers in week number six, support to your vehicle so we can get you ready to go. Once our redder and daughter time tree, week number five comes to a close. It's Rick Cutshaw from Sarahville in the 666. And George Foreman from Newcomer's Town in the 57, battling it out for the top spot in the van heat tonight. The Wagon O Death trying to put the kiss to death on the 57. If you want the skeleton to win, let's hear you. If you want the cushy little bear on top of the 57 to win, let's hear you. The 66 and the 57, the 666 and the 57, all we've got remaining. And our van heat tonight a service of runner and daughter country. So whoever your favorite is in the van heat, Time to cheer him on, Rick Cutshaw in the 666, and George Foreman from New Coverstown in the 57. Right now, it's Rick Van that's moving the best. Trying to circle right through the middle of the mud and the van parts all over the place to get another quick in on on the Foreman van. George simply trying to get that thing in motion enough to supply a shot of substance to Rick's vehicle. Right now, George simply having a little bit of difficulty doing that. We started with 11, we're down to two in the veteran daughter country, number five. And the chef's wagon. Action to Mr. Foreman's van. Rams are in reverse, puts her in drive, does it once again. Oh, that's for the brain, week number 
five will close the mark on three. Heat number five. Finishing in fourth place in the number one band from the Philadelphia Jets, Jackson. Finishing in third place and driving the number eight van off the front of the Philly area, Michael Hotel. Grabbing number two honors from Newcomers Town in the 57, George Foreman. And winning our veteran daughter concrete group number five tonight, the van group in the triple six from Sherrisville, Rick Kutchow. My rider, heat number six. Heat number six tonight. In the 22 car, Massillon Scott Wood. In the double zero eight from New Philly, Adam Waiter. In the 117 from Minerva, Matt Amy. In the 70 from Uricksville, Teddy Boydnott. And the 419 out of Canton, Aaron McMillan. From New Summerstown in the 76. Derby veteran Doug Rupner. And driving the double zero tonight out of Tennyson. Wearing the helmet stand for the Mission Racing video. Demolition Derby folks. Corey Downing. Seven drivers in this J.D. by rider. He's number six tonight. By dropping away. Seven, 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 battling for the top four positions tonight. Seven, battling for the top four of the Speedy Bye Rider. Two, number six. Number six tonight, a service of staging by rider went third and over seven drivers for the top four spot. In case you just wandered in off the streets of Tuscarawas County, yes, this is going to listen to the action. No, so for the most part, we ain't got those stinking rules. Well, with the exception of two, no driver side door hit. No driver side door hit. And if a vehicle stops, 
They've got two minutes to get things started or they get red flagged. No driver side short. It's your vehicle stop. You've got two minutes to get things started. Or you get a red flag. Scott and Matt Scott Wood from Massillon in the 22. As all set of our cars continuing to roll, Massillon Scott Wood in the 22, Adam Wader beats away in the double zero eight. Matt Amy from Minerva in the one one seven. Dennis Corey Dowling in the double zero. Betty Boyd Scott from Yorkville in the 70 in the 419. Ben Aaron McMillan. And Doug Rusner from the double stop in the 76. So these seven good old boys fighting for the top four spots tonight. The Disney Fire Rider, he's number six.
right now, four moving. Corey Downing in the double zero. Corey Downing in the double zero. Doug Rooster from the Summerstown in the 76. Betty Boycott from Yorkville in the 70. And that's when got a word in the two schools. And our top four, and now the answer begins to unravel itself. In which positions will those four finish in the top four? Corey Downing, and that double zero got a helmet cam on tonight for the folks from Good Good Racing videos. You want a copy of what that looks like, look for the Good Good Racing video folks between heats tonight. Now they talk to you during the heat, but they're filming the action. You can look for them along the fence line between the grandstand and the trap area. So it's Corey Downing in the double zero in the 70, Teddy Boycott in the 76, Doug Rooster and Scott Wood for Masculine in the 2-2. Two -two. So Scott Wood in that 22 go bouncing back trying to get to the 70 car a bounce right by him. Right now, Scott in the middle of the ring, drives over toward the entrance to the Derby ring. And puts it in reverse and smashes with Doug Rootner in the 76. Meanwhile, Corey Downing and that double zero trying to get it restarted. And as he's sitting there, Teddy Boycott was flying by and slams into the two tour of that one kind of wood. So it's Wood in the 22, Rooster in the 76, Boyd down the 70, and he knocks into the Rooster car. Down in the lower corner of the Derby lane, knocks into the Rooster side. Right now we're down to three. Boyd Nod in the 70, Rooster in the 76, and Wood in the 2 two. And right now, both Rooster and Woods are looking for Teddy Boyd now. in the 70, getting spun around a little bit by Scott Wood from Maslin in the 2-2, Doug Rooster in the 76, they made a slammer in reverse over there, the Derby Ring entrance. So it ends up going between Boycott 70 and Wood 22, all three of them in the middle of the Derby Ring. Looks like Teddy having a little bit of trouble getting restarted as Wood and Rooster meet, backside to backside, and now they're along side by side. Down in the lower part of the derby ring, both of them got it in reverse. Now Wood's going to put her in drive and go over toward the east side, and Rooster to follow. Now they meet face to face. Scott Wood from Maxwell in the 22, Doug Rooster in the 76. Team number six tonight brought to you by J.D. Byerider, our title sponsor of the 2009 Festival of Saturday Day of Demolition Derby. Eddie 
Ray Boyd not yet to restart it. Clemson just to inside the two-minute limit. Now that that restarted 70, goes wrapping around the wood bar for Paplin. Ford way over the corner. Now Doug Rooster a little bit of trouble getting a restarted. Doug now takes a shot from the backside from Teddy Boytnot. <laughs> so Boytnot in the 70, Rooster in the 76, Wood in the 22. Right now Boytnot in the 70. And Wood the 20 feet and see both their numbers for the top of their vehicle. Playing a little game of cat and mouse and that is switched to different. Right past Rooster Star tried to get to the Wood 22. Drivers for heat number seven. Hopefully you're at your vehicles. Drivers for heat number seven. If you're not, please head that way. Eight heats of Derby action. And spectacular conclusion with our free for all heat following heat number eight tonight. So, following this JD Biomider heat number six, three more Derby classes for you. All right now, Tudor Boyd, nine in the 70. Wood in the 22. They're right by the Derby ring entrance. Mud flying, steam flying, those two. Angled with one another, and now they go a little ghosty go action. Teddy locked up onto the back of Woods' 22 car. Now they separate. Woods passing into the passenger side of Boyd not Boyd not puts it back in drive. Rooster in the 76 trying to get it restarted and jump with some of the tires right now. See our Derby track official jumping out of the way over on the east side of the Derby ring. Big J hasn't moved that fast in about 30 years. Unbelievable. Notice I say that while he's standing over there and I am here. Boyd's not in the 70, Wood in the 22. Now they both got it in reverse. They both meet backside to backside. Maybe Wood for a little bit better of that blow. Jolton, Teddy Boyd, not star around. Boyd, not from the Urinville area. Wood from Massillon. Looks like Teddy's star may have stalled out again. So Scott Wood from Massillon. Going to figure out a way to get in on what would be that last hit variety, and that could be the decision maker here in this JD Byer Rider. Heat number six tonight. So Wood gets that cash in, and now Boyd not going to try and get that car restarted again. He's being timed as we speak. Once the car stops, you got two minutes to go, and it looks like. Teddy is waved off. And that will bring to a close our JD by Rider Heat number six tonight. We'll get you our official results coming up in a moment. JD on Heat number six tonight. A service of JD by Rider West Third Street in Dover, finishing in fourth place in the double zero from Denison, Corey Downing. Finishing in third in that 7-6 from Newcomers Town, Doug Rubler. Finishing in second place in the 70 out of Uricksville, Teddy Bortnut. And finishing in first in the JD Firerider, heat number six. Driving the 22 from Maslin, Scott Wood.
ಬರುತ್ತೆ track area and you can order your DVD tonight for only 10 bucks. Booth number seven tonight from Lonzo Excavating and Landscaping. All 11 drivers to see them rolling into the Derby ring in the eight. It is Chuck Gerber from Dover. In the four, Joe Stukas from New Philly. In the 14, Dover, the Robert Long. In the 43, Otto Valilli, the third from Fort Washington. In the 18, from the Twin Cities, Tyler Death. In the 10, our Mandy Porter from Strasburg. In the 99, Dan Duell with Dover. In the 1999, Jason Duell with Dover. In the double C, the Mike Duff from Tusky. In the 75, Canton, Darrell, McMillan, and in the 01 from Uritzville, Joe Pickles. This is your Alonzo Excavating and Landscaping number seven. Again, a quick reminder, all drivers in heat number eight, if you're not already there, please report to your vehicle. Drivers for heat eight, please report to your vehicle. This is your 11 driver, Lobster Excavating and Landscaping. Week number seven.
find a place where he can hit Tyler for coming down to the last hit or deal. And now Tyler just would restart it. This simply looks like it'll be one of those situations where who comes up with the last hit and they smash into one another. Otto Palilli in the 4-3 and Tyler Dapp in the 18. I don't know if either one of these boys is going to go anywhere now because they're both into one another big time. The 43 of Otto Palilli in the third and Tyler Dapp. Tyler does shake loose. Tyler brushes up along the passenger rear. Team rolling out of both the vehicles. Otto from down in the Porsche area. Tyler, the Uricville area. Our two remaining from the 11 that started in this Lanza excavating and landscaping. Heat number seven. Otto struck the all white with the red lettering. Tyler's the black truck with the Confederate flag painted on the front. Both Tyler and Otto trying to separate. On to activating and landscaping our sponsor for heat number seven tonight. Number seven coming up. Golf from heat number seven, our second spot seat tonight at the Tuscar County Fair. Sponsored by Lonzer Excavating and Landscaping. Charlie and Davey Lonzer finishing in fourth place in the 75 truck from Canton, Daryl McMillan. Finishing in third in the 0-1 from Uricksville, Joe Sickles. Finishing in second place in the 43 from Port Washington, Otto Belilly the third. And taking home first place in the Lions Direct Committee and Landscaping Heat number seven tonight in the 18 truck from Uricksville. Congratulations to Tyler Depp. Murph. In the 31, Dennis Griffith. Dennis Griffith in the 31. Up next in the 43 out of Waynesburg, say, woo! The Andy Larkin. And last but certainly not least in the 29 X from Ravenna, John Pepper. By the way, John Pepper got go down from the center of the night. Daughter Concrete, heat number eight. Heat number eight from Brian.
tires, locked up on the north side. Out the Burger Ring in the 33, Wendy Larson from Waynesburg in the 31, got a ticket. And out of the center in the 29, it's John Cabrera. and rolling around the derby ring. Dennis Griffith losing a final. intents and purposes, Dennis is done. Right now you got Andrew Larson's in the 43 and John Capper in the 49X. Oh, 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 from the back side of Don Capper from Ravenna in the 29X. Those two good old boys out there sort of like a bad marriage. They want to be done. One dragging around the other. And Dennis Griffith. A little worse for the wear, and now they do get them separated. John Gaffer in that 29 X. Bumps into the front side. Of the 43. And a wave off, and that's going to bring this Brian Sire and Redder and Daughter Concrete to eight, number eight to a close. Finishing game third place in the 31 from Bobber, Dennis Griffith. In second place in the 43 from Waynesburg. And the Larkin. And finishing in first in the Bryant Tyron Redder and Dollar Concrete. Each number eight in the 29 X from Ravenna. Don Capper. $500 and a big old trophy. Here we go in the 878 Corey Pringle from Strasburg and the 444X from New Philly Terry Snyder and the 2262 from Port Bill Brown and the 114 from Newarksville, John Baker. In the 85, Cody Inlet from Port. In the 20, from Jackson to Newham. In the 45, from Dover, Bobby Nelson. And the 29, from New Philly, Joe Lucas. And in the 141, from New Philly, Randy Wallace.
Seven drivers battling in the JG Fire Riders Free for All to bring this 2009 Custerov County Fair Demolition Derby to a close. And they got lots of motivators, as in 500 of them, to do as long as they can. Looks like already two of our seven having a little bit of trouble, made it three. No stinking second and third places in this, it's just the winner takes all. Five hundred dollars and a trophy about the size of LeBron James. The JD by Rider Free For All. In the 45 star, you're looking at Bobby Nelson from Dover. Meanwhile, in the 114, that's John Baker from Lewisville. In the 141, Randy Wallace from New Philadelphia. Couple of cars already trying to get a restarted in the 444X. That's just the Terry Snyder. In the 29, Joe Fuchs from New Philadelphia. And Cody Inlet from Ford in the 85. So Nelson in the white car with the blue numbers, Bobby Nelson in the 45. In the yellow, 141, Randy Wallach from New Philly. In the red, 114, from the Queen City, John Baker. Those are our three right now, actually moving in that dirty ring. A nice shot. 141 or Andy Wallace, better from the 45 of Bobby Nelson, and now Bobby breaking three of Baker's 114. All three of those Derby boys over on the side of the Derby ring, trying to finish in the top spot. The top spot going to be making a very happy gentleman of the winner of whoever drafts number one of the 15 fine riders three for all. Five hundred big ones with a big old trophy on the line. See Bobby Nelson up on that top side of the river wall hit by John Baker's 114 and in turn Baker's 114 hit by Randy Wallach's 141. Bobby Nelson's got her in reverse in the 45 and she'll give a bump into the backside of Randy Wallenstein and doing so shakes free John Baker of Uriksville in the 114. John got that bad boy in drive. Now he goes looking for Bobby Nelson and she is clear and trying not to hit the driver's side door on Bobby's car. And right now it's Bobby and John chasing one another. Meanwhile, Randy Wallace in the 141 trying to get her restarted. Bobby now down in that lower corner and John right above him in the top. One's in drive, one's in reverse. They hit into one another and make a little bit of contact. Baker's front side to Nelson's back side and Randy Wallet got that thing to go about three feet in reverse. Now, Randy moving slowly and I didn't even know it. Meanwhile, Baker and Nelson once again from front side to back side. Now Bobby's got her in reverse and drives Baker over toward that east side wall. We 
We will have one winner and one winner only in the JD by Ryder Control. We started with Steady, with Steady C1. in the white 45 and John Baker in the 114. Baker's front side and Nelson's back side locks and entwined and both of them trying to shake loose and shake free. It's the JD By Rider free for all. The round out the 2009 Tough Cross County Fair Demo Derby. Numbers and letters and Go the separate ways of Bobby Nelson in the 45, Baker in the 114, and Bobby Flipper in reverse. It's the driver's side front of the Baker 114. Looks like Bobby looking to do the same again, and John will lose him, and now he'll flip around and go to the front side. And both our cars again in the middle of the derby ring. It's John Baker from Uricksville in the 114. Bobby Nelson from Dover in the 45. This just the regular old demo derby heat. It's the same by Rider Free for All. 500 big ones in it. Equally a big trophy on the line for the winner of this. Bobby Nelson from Dover. Don Baker from Uricksville. Baker smashes into the back of Nelson's car. They're both up on the North Derby wall. And now it's like John's got a momentary stall, so Bobby going to sneak away and put her in reverse and come looking for John's 114. Now Bobby going to do her again, in reverse. 
John Baker desperately trying to get his 1-1-4 restarted. His one more time, Bobby Nelson comes looking for him. Driving him each time closer to that wall, and John's got two minutes to get it restarted from the point that it stalled. And Bobby just going to keep on jabbing and punching, jabbing and punching, driving him closer to the wall. Now Bobby's going to build up a big old head of steam. Gonna put it in reverse. Gonna wait. He's got a minute left. One minute left to get that car restarted. Here comes Bobby Nelson. So John Baker with under a minute left to get his car restarted. 30 seconds. Down to 30 seconds. He wears up. And congratulations to the winner in our J.D. Bye Rider free for all driving the 45 car out of Dover, Bobby Nelson!